Yo, so just walk into my location, Emerald Beach, and shit, and the bats flying everywhere. Yay. There they are. They're ready for a fight. They're ready for a fight. Come on, then. No, I'm joking. Mate, they're a little chill just staring at me. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna get in a boxing fight with one of them like that thingy that you know the video. Hold on, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Quick. What's this? What have I got? Come here. Come here. What's this? What have I got? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hiya. Are you? Come here. They don't like me. They don't like me. They're all just bouncing away. Look at them bounce. Oh my God, he's so unfluffy. He's so bouncy, I wanna die. Yeah, so it's actually currently the next day, but um, when I recorded the intro the other day, it was very dark and you couldn't see me. So yeah, this is the intro. I don't know, I really didn't need to do this, but I decided to anyway. Right, listen. Who let me come out into the outback on my own? No, I'm not even on the outback. A beach is right over there. But I'm actually, look at my surroundings, mate. I'm fully lost. I saw a wild kangaroo just bouncing about, but it wasn't like the normal ones. It was like full on bright orange or something. And I came up here thinking, oh, I could just get across the rocks and walk back along the beaches. But look, mate, it's actually a vertical cliff drop. So that ain't happening. So I've tried to find my way back and I can't find my way back. So I'm a bit stuck. Obviously I've done why well, by the time you see the video i've done it hopefully i'll be dead but leave a comment on what you think i should have done because honestly right the beach is just through there well it's not even the beach it's just pure cliff face and i tried climbing around it i thought oh i'll be able to do this and then look i got lost haha <laughs> about a six hour walk on my hands now really hope my mum doesn't see this video because she will not be happy with all these cars flying at me at like 70 mile per hour it's scary they're literally like a yard away from you but if mum's watching then nah, they're about 10 metres away, don't worry about it. No way near. There ain't no mountain high enough. There ain't no valley low enough. There ain't no river wide enough. To keep me from getting to you, baby. Ooh. That's how I feel right now. I'm gonna get there. No matter what river, valley or mountain. There's a bus stop on the there's a bus stop on the highway on the other side of the road. Do I go or do it's current walking? It doesn't say when it comes or anything, and I don't even know if it's like real. Hold on, I'll show you. Can I turn this around? I have not. I have not seen one bus go past though. So I don't know, you know. Dude, right, right. I just went to get some shopping. That was still on this massive walk. But I understand how you know the Africans feel when they've got to literally track like 16 miles of water there and back. I don't know how they feel now because this walk is actually doing my feet in and they have to do it when they're like five years old as well so I don't know how their feet, they don't go like whatever happens to your feet, arthritis or whatever. Because honestly, I've nearly broken them. I'm going to get an Uber soon. I might just bring one now. I can't hack it. I can't hack it. I cracked. No, I did an Uber. It's a five minute drive or a 40 minute walk. So I've ordered an Uber to pick me up on the side of the highway. It's Uber driver put me off, ringing me, asking me where I was because he was like, oh, whoa, what about that Um Yeah, I don't know where I was. Oh, yeah, he was asking me if I knew if I was on the north side or the south side. How am I going to know that? He thinks I passed geography. God, is he joking me? How am I meant to know which way is north and south? Well, I'm back. That took up literally like 30 seconds in the car. The guy was like, well, you only want to go from here to here. But I promise you, the walk was like, it said on mini maps 30 minutes so yeah i'm back got my nice healthy cereal right right the woman whose house i'm staying at yesterday was like nah i've never been any sharks around here or anything and then the next day she just goes oh but you can go um cage diving and shark watching around there and scuba diving to see all the sharks just a few hundred meters out, I was like, okay. So there's no sharks there. Oh no, oh my God. There's about 600 kangaroos just chilling in it.
close. I don't think, oh, they may have just stood in about a million gallons of um, kangaroo poo. <laughs> oh, Try pat this one, see if he's up for it. Oh my god, I literally just had like the best three hours ever. I've literally just been running in and out of the water like a little kid. You know like the Joker when he comes down the steps and he's kicking his feet, I've been doing that one about. Then just sprinting into the water. And then when the waves get too big, they like fall and hit you over. So you go flying like head first and you do like a foot foot into the water. Just been doing that for about three hours. Proper workout as well, I'm knackered. I wish I had a GoPro so I could film it because that was literally... And then lying on the beat, oh mate. That was an experience. I you feel like I'm like four years old. <laughs> Right, so I'm in bed right now. Basically, today, what I did, um, I met some random girl off Tinder and she showed me around the city. So that was good. I saw all that, but it was quite awkward because she didn't really look like her pictures. So I was a bit like, well, yeah, so that, at least I got to see the city when she drove like 40 minutes to come pick me up and everything. So that was stupid of her part because I don't know what she thought was going to happen and then um, I was eating a, like a full packet of raw cookie dough and then I googled what happens if you eat raw cookie dough and apparently it like, gives you food disease and stuff like because all the raw eggs and flour and stuff in it it gives you food poisoning so hopefully I feel all right in the morning, but we'll see about that in the next coming days or whatever. And then hopefully, yeah, I went to see um, a nice viewpoint in the city, went swimming in the beach. This girl bought a bikini. She, didn't, she lives in Australia and she didn't own a bikini. She bought a bikini just so I could go swimming in the beach. But yeah, as I said, then I matched another girl on Tinder. She was from 20 minutes up the road north instead. So she said she might show me around that part. So that'll be another day sorted. That's basically my plan. Hope you can hear me. Mate. Oh yeah, and um, apparently the raw cookie dough thing. Apparently it can give you like life threatening diseases. I'll insert a picture here hopefully. So yeah, that's not the best. Wish me luck. Right, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or anything now, but I'm just down on the beach. The weather is horrific. Um, it's giving it thunderstorms today. Like 50% chance, which is very high here, apparently. So, yeah, um, I just came down to do a little workout. Get that done. Maybe go for a swim, work up a sweat so the water's not as cold. Hopefully, it doesn't start raining. I'll keep you up to date with that. This is my. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've just come down and do like, I don't know, a few press ups, a few sit ups. And the bees, but I don't to mind at the time. The weather is horrific, so you probably can't even hear me right now. Right. I'm knackered here, that was only like 30 seconds ago. <sighs> so I do 
survey too, I just kick water normally. I run around, normally the waves are bigger than this. But now, at least the water's not as cold, because I'm a lot hotter. Kangaroos are normally up there. A bit cold in today, I think. Sound. Uh, do that like 40 times and you're sorted. That's your workout for the year done. I realise you can't eat them raw because it gives you life-threatening diseases and I've burnt them. I made them too thin. But them ones up alright. Hot. Very hot. I'm gonna give you a quick um, tour of where I'm staying at the moment. That's a little outside area under cover for when it absolutely chucks it down. Come in and got the lovely little dog. Come on. Got a rabbit. I've all poo in the corner. Kitchen area with my cookies. Chilling area. That's one hallway. There's someone staying in that room just to the left up there. It's like its own little thing. And my room, my room's an absolute mess, so I'm not gonna show you all that. Just need a bed. Now, it might look like a very nice but, place, but I am getting a bit bored because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and I booked it for way too long. So that was a mistake I've learned from and I will not do again in the future. <laughs> 